Hey, hey, friends, welcome to this week's episode of the Amazon Files brought to you by Mommy Income. I am your host, Kristen Ostrander. And I got to tell you, I am super excited about what's to come in this year and the next. I know that being an Amazon seller can be very isolating, especially if no one around you like really understands what you're going through, understands the lingo, the the different um, challenges that we face, not only as entrepreneurs, but also as Amazon sellers. So there's entrepreneurs in general who can kind of unite and understand what people are going through. But then we have this added layer of Amazon, which is a whole different beast. And most people, let's be real, they have no clue what we're talking about when we sell on Amazon. Most people I talk to don't even realize you can be a third party seller on Amazon. So it can be very isolating to kind of find and connect people that really connect with people that really understand um, what, what it takes to be and not only an entrepreneur, but an Amazon or e-commerce seller. I mean, there's a lot of people that have given up and struggled and struggled by themselves because they don't have these. This is what they don't have. It's not tools. It's not software. It's not training programs or coaching or anything like that. What are these? People give up because they don't have these. They don't have friends support systems or real people to turn to so they can be heard and understood and supported. Honestly, if you don't have a system or someone like that that you can turn to or a group of people, it's really, really tough to keep going, to keep moving, to stay motivated and inspired to to move closer to your dreams and your goals when you don't have someone to bounce ideas off of, someone to talk to, some of those types of things. You know, it's especially now with this work from home environment that most of us are in or working remotely or virtually is new for a lot of people. For a lot of people, it's not. But for those that are a little bit new to it, it can be really lonely. It can be isolating. And we're going to go over some more of that in next week's episode because I really want to dive deep into what you can do about that. But today I'm going to give you three places to really connect. And I want to talk first about the workshop. See, because I just returned back from my first in-person workshop in 18 months. It, I got to tell you, it's just life-changing. It's life-changing when you walk into a room and you arrive as strangers knowing nothing about each other or what you're about to go through and face in this particular workshop but then you leave as friends because common goals common objectives things in common they unite us and so many students have proclaimed i've heard this at our vip dinner when we had um talking to many of you that were there or like i've never spoken to another amazon seller offline or even at all some of you guys are not even uh really connected on social media and so you're just like gosh i've never even spoke to another amazon seller i just feel all alone in this journey and they said gosh i finally found people who understand what I'm going through, they understand the ups and downs of Amazon and the excitement when you talk about retail arbitrage or when you um, really nail your first bundle and you have someone to share that with. It's just completes the, the whole process when you have someone who speaks the language, who understands what you're going through. I mean, have you ever been uh, to a place where maybe you're in a different city, in a different town, in a different country, in a different environment, and yet you see somebody um, wearing the same team shirt, like that where you're from. Like I go anywhere and I see somebody wearing a chief's logo. I know that we're going to be friends, like, because we have this thing in common. And so having something like that in common, maybe you see somewhere else, you see somebody and you're like, oh my gosh, they have the same bag or they wear the same shirt, the the same type of um, clothing, something, some sort of connection. You can actually connect with people and realize that we have something in common because our commonalities unite us um, in, in certain ways. So, so I think it's really, really important. I know 
pandemic. I know there's a lot of things going on health-wise and virus-wise and all that, and I'm not here to talk about that. What I'm here to talk about really is the show must go on. Um, we must continue to move forward um, no matter what's happening. And connecting in person is so much more important now than ever because a lot of us have been quarantined, isolated, working from home, working remotely. And that's not great for everyone. For some people it is, like for my daughter when we were in quarantine or my 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 middle child um, is very introverted and really just prefers her own alone time to her. That is, it's a rejuvenation and great for her, but other people um, still need the in-person uh, shoulder to shoulder, face to face kind of interactions. Uh, I for sure know that I need that. And this can be really, really a lonely business. Um, but when you connect with other people who are doing the same things that you're doing, selling on Amazon, trying to build bundles, trying to build a business, trying to break free from whatever has been holding them back. It's such a refreshing relief to talk to other people who just understand. I mean, have any of you guys tried to talk to a spouse or a partner or even a group of friends about your new Amazon adventure or the thing you've been doing for a while and their eyes just glaze over and they have no idea what you're talking about. They have no idea what this lingo is. And by, finally, you just throw in the towel and say, forget it. You guys, you guys just don't get it. But then when you actually have conversations, they go on for hours and hours after because you're with people who really understand. Because honestly, we need real people, real faces, real conversations, real answers. Do we not long for that? Do we not have better um, understanding when you can literally communicate face to face Man, at the workshop, I got to meet like 24 amazing new people that I wouldn't have otherwise met um, without having this event, without having this in-person event. People from all parts of the country. I am from Southeast Michigan, but I have met people from California and Utah and Florida and Las Vegas and New Orleans and Indiana and Illinois. All over the place, people have come together, different ages, different walks of life, different stages of life. We are all united because we share this common goal, this common objective. We all want to become confident wholesale bundlers. But why? I mean, that's like the, the surface of it, right? Yeah, I, I come to this, this workshop because I want to be a confident wholesale bundler. But why? What the common theme seemed to be, because we have this little exercise where First of all, we have our VIP party um, the night before our workshop because we want to be able to get to know one another. It's really, it can be very difficult to enter into group work and have um, the same objective when we really don't know much about each other. So the the party in, in the evening, the meet and greet, the, the VIP that we get together to just talk to each other about life, about business, where you're from, how, you know, how long have you been doing this? What are some of your struggles? Uh, do you have a family? Like, what is your reason? And talking to another, but even in the, in the workshop, when we start workshopping, after we've all kind of met and got to know each other, we still go around the room and talk about, um, you know, fun facts about ourselves and where we're from and why we're doing this or how long we've been in business or the reason we started our business. And you get a glimpse into people's lives of, of, their why. And what does that do? That connection gives us the ability to connect and care about the collective world around us. It's no longer just about us. It's about everyone in the room wanting the same thing. And what is it that they really want? To sum it all up, I mean, I've heard lots of different stories and talked to so many of these um, new friends that have different goals and different objectives overall. But what is the commonality to have more control over our earning potential, which equals more freedom in our lives, maybe a freedom of schedule, freedom of time, financial freedom to be able to go and do what you want. And everyone has a different inspiration and motivation for that. But bottom line is, why do you want to have a business? You want to have a business so that you have a little bit more control over your life and control over your finances and be able to not have someone else set an income cap on you or set a schedule on you that doesn't work with your lives. Some people have special needs children. Some people have very demanding um, jobs that they don't intend to quit uh, right away, but they want uh, some extra something that's just for themselves. Other people are heading into retirement and realize that they don't want to be bored. They want something to continue 
their education and growing and changing as a human being, no matter what stage they're at. So regardless of what it is that motivated you or is motivating you to do this, we are all connected and that we have this big overarching um, goal of increasing our freedom to earn income, increasing our freedom to earn income from any location, from a place where we can serve the globe with our products and services without having to leave our location for whatever reason. So, and of course, in the workshop, we do this by utilizing the wholesale bundle system framework and using Amazon as a platform to achieve that goal. But no matter what that is, we want to have that deeper competitive advantage on Amazon so that we can can obtain that financial or schedule or time freedom that we're looking for because that is really the end game because what do bundles do for you bundles help you grow your amazon business and diversify yourself and give you a competitive advantage over single unit item products or building an entire private label brand whatever that is it's giving you the competitive advantage to get to the real goal the real goal is your why the real goal is the reason you started doing this to be begin with. This is just the means to the end. It's a great means to a great end. So I was just so inspired by all the conversations that people were having with each other and how everyone worked so well together. I'm not sure if it was part of the pan pandemic and all of us kind of being a little bit more in isolation or separate from people for so long um, that it was really nice for that. Or is it just because we have all this commonality of we want to learn bundling so that we can grow our businesses and get the freedom that we're looking for. So it was just such an amazing experience for me to not only teach and help and instruct and come alongside and work with all of all of the students side by side but also um to see them working together and the process of them um, having these aha moments and these breakthrough moments and the frustrations and the failures um you know the process of of workshopping too is really we, we get into it we have some some instruction in the morning of re, re um going over again the framework the 12 step process that we use to research bundles from beginning to end and then we put that into practice we actually build bundles together in groups and to see these groups go over the framework and work with one another and input ideas and scratch ideas and start over um, and restarts and the frustrations and finally the victories at the end is such an amazing process to see unfold amongst um, the students there and see them um, thriving and being frustrated and needing help. And that's the beauty of working together is it? guess what? We are all have to start over every time. We have to, to see the process. The, my favorite part about workshops, honestly, is when we run into roadblocks when when each group, which every group in in this workshop actually ran into difficulty with doing the research process. And it was so wonderful to be in the moment with them to say, guess what? This is absolutely part of the process. Your group you think is struggling. Guess what? Every group in here is struggling. Why? Because we're new at this, because we're just doing the research process, because research is about searching and re searching when things don't work out the way we want them to. And guess what? That's bundle. That's part of the bundle research process is that I think everyone came in or everyone, maybe you have this expectation of, of wholesale bundles. Maybe you have the course and you've been watching the course and you start uh, trying the research process for yourself and then end up frustrated because the first idea you had didn't pan out or didn't have the right components or you couldn't um, make it profitable and you're just frustrated and you feel like you've wasted a day of research for, for no reason. Guess what? That's all part of the process. Every single group that came to the workshop in, in, in the different groups, I think we had five different groups, um, they all had to start with one idea or one a single unit item, running it through the framework and realizing that this might not be the best idea or this isn't what the customers are searching for. This is all part of the process. And by the end, they all, all the groups presented a profitable bundle after searching and researching and starting over and pivoting and changing. It was all part of this beautiful process. And what they learned was so 
insane. It was great to hear from them saying, you know, not every, not every bundle is a good one. And it was good to do that in person with other people to realize, oh, it's not just me that has this problem. You mean I can go through four, five, six pages of a catalog and still not find something that's really worthy of pursuing? Yes. That's normal. You will. You don't always arrive at a very successful bundle on your first, second, or even third attempt at trying to get a profitable bundle. That's the beauty of research. That is the frustration, but also the beauty of a process that if step one, two, three, four, five, six don't, doesn't get you the results, you can start over with a new product, a new product idea to research. It takes multiple attempts. That's another thing, the major takeaways that we had asked of our students was that it takes multiple, multiple attempts to arrive at a bundle that's worthy of pursuing. Another major takeaway that one of the students had, had um, mentioned was that you actually can create successful bundles in just a few hours if you stay focused, if you have realistic expectations. And what were the realistic expectations? That we had three and a half hours to, as a group, come up with a profitable bundle using the wholesale bundle framework. You had ample opportunity to use tools at hand like Merchant Words and had catalogs where you could pick multiple options to start with. We we also showed that like although you're overthinking, it really helps to you continue the process to the end, even if you feel uncomfortable, even if you're not 100% sure that the numbers are within a range that are, you're comfortable with, um, that you can still move forward in the process. Uh, another takeaway was someone said that it's doing it together is easier because you have multiple input and multiple ideas um, with with everyone kind of coming to the table with the same training. And that seems to be helpful. Yes, it's helpful. Yes, it's helpful to come to the table with a couple other people and discuss ideas. And I know some of us uh, do it yourselfers and the people that um that really like, like, um, I know I grew up with my dad saying, if you want something done right, do it yourself. Um, and, you know, I, I used to really, really believe that. And now I have changed that tune over the course of my adult life, realizing that if you want so, if something done right, do it as a team and make sure you have uh, expectations all laid out. Um, group work is amazing if you're working together for a common goal. And so, you know, doing it together can be easier. And it's great to be able to come together and bounce your ideas off people and asking people, hey, what do you think about this? And what are your thoughts and inputs? When we have an abundance mentality, um, which is, is, is what uh, connection and group work and connecting with other people really brings about is this abundance mentality that I don't have to hoard all my ideas. I don't have to hire, hide all of my ideas and my thought processes and all these different things because collectively we can do more together than I can just do on my own. So having a place to go and talk to other people and bounce ideas and getting extra feedback and input um, really can help you grow not only as an entrepreneur, but as a bundler, but as somebody who is um, going through a process. Remember that it's all a process. Your growth, your research, your development of new products and bundles is all a process. It's not a one and done. Okay, I've got this nailed. I've got this figured out. Um, I can just do it in my sleep now. It is a process that you practice. And it, it also what another thing that that was mentioned in the workshop of like a takeaway or what someone had learned was that it doesn't matter if you like the bundle or not, if it appeals to you or if it doesn't. Um, the reality is that the research shows what works and what doesn't. And we don't have to rely on what we like or what we're interested in, although that does help. It helps you because we learn as bundlers that we meet a need or solve a problem with the bundle. And so that really helps to be able to do that. But what we prove in the workshop is you can do it without that. If you have the process, the research process and some products to look at, you can make profitable bundles with or without prior knowledge of the product line or the category. So that's the beauty of, of doing it together. What we have proved in the workshop is that the processes 
work. The framework and research process works and doing the work gets the results. Every single person participated and brought new ideas and brought skills to the table. And because of that, everything was, was built together. So when you're thinking about this, though, I say, okay, well, I'm not at the workshop anymore. I can't connect with these people. I don't have connections. I don't know anyone else. I don't have a support system at home. You know, there are, you know, I'm going to give you three different ways to be able to connect with people, to like-minded people, Amazon sellers, people that are doing bundling or people that are doing these things so that you can get support and the help that you need. And part of that is being as much of a giver as you are a receiver. That comes with, um, you know, just natural relationships is always looking at what I can give. And a lot of beginners think I have nothing to give. I have everything to receive because I have no idea what I'm doing. The reality is so that everybody comes from a different place, a different time, a different background, a different age group, a different religion, a different race, a different something. And so everybody has something unique to bring to the table. And the more that you have to bring to the table that's unique, the more that you can input that into other people's lives and also receive from them. So I am celebrating some of my new friends here because that's really what happens at workshops. I come in not knowing any of you and I leave with new friends, people I've connected with, people that I have just had such a joy to meet and all of you. I'm celebrating all of my workshop friends today and thinking about you um, as you have gone home and have learned all this stuff. And I'm sure I've just were overwhelmed with some of the information and the, the trade show and getting all the different, you know, catalogs and making connections there and kind of what to do. Um, I just... I just want to celebrate all of you for what you've been doing. I mean, this is just proof of the different places and different walks of life that people are from. But when they come together for a common goal, so many things can be accomplished. You know, people like Karen, who is just starting out and she's just learning some of the lingo and expressed having a little bit of embarrassment about not knowing some of the terminology and how she's just open to learn, which I know she's going to be successful because she's really open to being a beginner and to learn so that she can grow her business and be able to travel. I know that um, she's was talking about traveling and being able to move from here to there to be able to do, um, you know, Amazon in a way where it doesn't restrict her location. And how about Char, who have moved across the country recently and then quit her job to do Amazon full time and how she is just deep diving into um, the possibilities for her life. Um, you know, Jennifer, <laughs> joking about Jennifer, um, very ambitious, um, lady who um, even told us a fun story about um, this bowling alley that she now owns because it was just so cheap in the area and they were going to shut it down and all that kind of stuff. And yet she still has the ambition to craft her Amazon journey and keep going with that, whatever it is. Um, she really is like the go-getter who wants to do all the things. Um, and Catherine, who you've heard me talk about for a long time, Catherine has been a long time client and she was able to join us for the workshop, being able to input her knowledge of creating success bundles, which she has done many, many times. I think she's six or seven um, bundles and working on the rest of them. Uh, her goal at the end of this year was to have 12 bundles that are um, evergreen, um, continually growing and moving to that. So um, she was there to help with input and, and helping the different groups and learning even for herself. Um, and of course, Nick, you know, looking to maximize even the technology to create great products for the market and doing something for himself, working for himself and um, maybe not always um, the nine to five kind of structure that some of us don't want. Um, was it, He was there to use his skills and also be able to learn the Amazon systems there. And, you know, we had a great conversation about even creating some of the apps, technology, software to be able to make some of these processes easier and faster. So that was a super exciting conversation. Um, and then lovely ladies like Regina seeking better understanding of the process so she can grow her business to a new level, to seek out that freedom and uh, flexibility of having something all your own and um, diversifying her skill set in, in many different ways to be able to have uh, a better life for her and her partner. So that was, um, you know, beautiful to be able to listen to the different stories there. And then uh, 
<laughs> Deborah and Juliet, who own a bookstore in California, right on the beach, looking to diversify not just into books, but also growing their online plus their offline business and how they can not only move more books on Amazon and in their store, but also um, diversify into other products so they can keep their store, but it's not the entire um, income level that they have. I mean, this is the store that, that Deborah said she would go into and was a visitor of before she owned it. And so I just loving hearing stories about this. Uh, I love your guys' stories. I love to meet you in person and learn about your life and your business and your goals. And this is why I do what I do. I, I, I love people. Um, and I love um, when they have breakthroughs and, and see their own vision for themselves. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of uh, wrangling to get it out of you. But like even, you know, um, you know, Ryan and his wife who came and, um, you know, maybe they're empty nesters and they're looking to, um, you know, have a supplemental change and hopefully a full time change um, with owning their own business in this way. And, you know, with the pandemic and all the different things have changed so many job structures looking to secure that that thing for themselves and even um as gosh justine justina i'm gonna say her name wrong i'm sorry in advance um i feel like it was justine but it could have been justina so sorry um who you know recently like they're empty nesters and she's working on her masters and she's you know kind of deciding what what she wants to do with the next chapter of her life and um, just encouraging each other that we can do anything. We can do anything when we have each other to, to, to be supportive and to uplift and to encourage and to provide good, healthy feedback, which doesn't always mean sunshines and rainbows, friends. Sometimes it means the good, hard truth um, and feedback that we give to one another. So always having a safe place for that. Or Don and Rebecca, who are making the shift from retail arbitrage into bundling and into wholesale and in, um, you know, those types of those different shifts that they want to make because they want to secure their business for long-term growth. And Naomi, who brought not one, not just one, but three family members with her. Talk about a support system. Talk about people who rally around and want you to succeed so badly that they will fly across the country with you in order to support you in this endeavor or wherever you're coming from. A lot of different spouses and friends and family have come with these students to be supported with them. That just warmed my heart to be able to see her husband, her sister, her mom, herself. Like we are, even if they're not a team in the business, they're a team of supporters of her. So that was such a beautiful thing to be able to meet some of, of you and your spouses and your, your um, family members and people that you brought with you that support you. Um, even like Ellie and Mika, they're this young couple from California and they just have high ambitions to craft their own financial freedom. And, you know, you've got one on one side that's a little bit more risk averse and the other one who's like, yes, let's just do it. Let's just see what happens. And um, seeing the, the energy and the excitement and the ambition to start something at such a young age to be able to then grow into that is so inspiring to me. So it was nice to be able to see this is the kind of diversity that I'm talking about here with different um, places and times. So people are retirees. I mean, um, and Verna, who's who I've met before at the Dallas walkthrough, um, then comes to the workshop here because she wants to help some family members. She wants to help herself get a little bit uh, farther along in retirement, but also helping family members to support and do some things differently as, as she's uh, growing into a new stage of her life. And Julie, who's just ready to start making some serious money while still having fun in the rodeo scene, um, you know, the supporting her herself and, and her um, family there in, in what they're doing. Um, Maria, the young mom who wants to just take charge of growing her business. She's ready to take that next step. And Michelle, a stay-at-home mom with two little ones. You know, all of these friends and Corey and Mike, a, a team who um, is husband and wife team who have decided to kind of take this plunge together. She was doing it alone for a while. And now they're just like, let's just see how this thing's going to go. You know, everyone here had a unique, a different take, different um, 
approach to how um, they're they're doing Amazon. But the collective reason was the same, really, the financial stability or the financial freedom that they want to have that no one's going to put a cap on their um, income earning abilities and the connections that they made to be able to help each other grow in that and sharing, um, you know, failures and successes and, oh, this worked for me and this didn't work for me and uh, this different things. It's such a group collective. There really is strength in numbers, guys. There's strength in numbers. Knowing someone is there for you makes all the difference. It doesn't mean everyone here is BFFs, but some people do walk away as BFFs. I remember um, one of my first workshops that I have, and I still have um, some of those close friends, literally text friends, friends I've stayed at their houses, um, friends from these workshops, because you meet people and make these connections and they're real and they're lasting if you if you cultivate those and um, lean on one another. We all need a support system in our lives. And if that's not going to be in your own household, if people just don't understand you or don't understand what you're doing, then there's ways to make connections outside of that. Uh, these students were the first time, met. I met for the first time in the workshops. Um, they're exchanging phone numbers, meeting for coffee, promising to stay in support and stay in touch and support one another. Um, so how is it that you can get connected with other like-minded sellers? There, I have three ways that I'm going to give you. And of course, there's a couple other ideas there because I know that uh, everyone has a different time and commitment level and a different comfort level when it comes to all these things. But I want to challenge you to get outside of your comfort zone because what tends to happen when people are alone and isolated and don't really feel like they have a connection, they give up easier. They give up faster. They struggle longer because they don't have even one person to just kind of what I call it, you know, call it venting. I call it letting air out of my balloon. Like, you know, your balloon gets so full and it's going to burst any moment with struggles and frustrations or just like I'm confused or I don't know what I'm doing. And all that feels yucky to be able to have somebody to talk to that understands and let a little bit of air out of your balloon gives you a, a, a stress relief. Relief. It gives you a way to be like, okay, other people understand. This is not just me. This is other people. There are solutions. I can take one step at a time. That's what a support system really is. Someone who's going to be in your corner, understand what you're going through, offer some decent help and some practical tips, and then keep you accountable you know, and help you to really move forward and grow. So how can you start making connections with some other sellers? Um, number one is, of course, um, the Mommy Income Facebook group. We do have a Facebook group specifically for Amazon sellers, of course, with wholesale bundlers as well. Um, so mommyincome.com slash join us. Use the code word. We have code words. Why? Because we don't want 25,000 people in the group just because they want to join every single group. Um, we have restrictions because we want to make sure that you are interested in Amazon. This is, excuse me, this is something that you are pursuing and want to contribute and uh, receive information. Um, and so mommyincome.com slash join us. Code word is friends. Hashtag friends. That's your code word for the day. Um, and Facebook is great, but it always it's not always enough to get us through. I mean, I don't know about you, but sometimes I need more than a comment section to stay motivated and inspired. Sometimes I need a little bit more than just somebody liking or whatever. I mean, that's like not real. I mean, it's real, but it's not real, right? It doesn't matter. People matter. Real people matter. And so what can we do is, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of tired of Zoom meetings and comment sections. And sometimes we really want in a tangible way, real mask or no mask, you know, life moves forward and we want to be able to meet people and talk with them. So another way is number one, get connected with the Facebook group, mommyincome.com slash join us. Code word is friends, hashtag friends. The second way that you can really start to think about getting connected is starting or attending, I would recommend attending first and perhaps starting if there isn't one in your area, is a meetup group. So if you go to meetup.com, you can search for Amazon, you can search for e-commerce, you can search for entrepreneurship, and you can meet people in person. Um, so helpful. I mean, I know that as people are kind of... Um, 
coming out, getting vaccinations, getting masks, whatever it is, um, getting back out into the real world face to face with people, uh, whatever your comfort level is, but it's time to really start getting back to these things. Meetups are so helpful. Just getting together for an hour with someone else who speaks e-commerce or Amazon or entrepreneurship, because our friends, our family, our spouses, our partners, not everybody gets it. And it's really hard to have this conversations with them because they grow weary and they're just like, I don't know how to help you. I don't know how to instruct you or they want to support you. They just maybe don't know how they don't have the answer. So this is where we get together with other people who really kind of understand and bounce ideas off, learn something, learn something about software and, you know, doing, you know, something like that, whatever it is. So speedup.com, look for, um, local groups, uh, women entrepreneurs, men entrepreneurs, whatever it is that you're looking for, um, Amazon, e-commerce, any of those types of things, look and search, use those search terms. And, you know, maybe go a little bit out of your, your area. Maybe it's, you know, 25 miles or, you know, willing to drive 30 or 40 miles to meet people that understand sometimes it can make a world of difference. I have seen people form like lifelong friendships from going to meetup groups. I have seen new businesses come to play because of meetup groups. I'll tell you a brief story about a meetup group. So um, years ago, oh gosh, I want to say it was 2015. I found a local Amazon meetup group. I was meeting in this gentleman's business uh, office that he had. He ran a print shop and he just like wanted to just get together and chat e-commerce, Amazon, that sort of thing. And just hear what people are doing and, you know, ideas, he, no motivation. Nobody's trying to sell anything. Well, at this group, no one was trying to sell anything or buy anything or, you know, get you into their programs or whatever. It was really just, let's just chat and talk about these things because the struggle is real. And from that, I met Nathan and Nathan is the owner, operator and founder of my prep center. Um, he was an Amazon seller. We met at the time we chatted for at, at that moment and prep center didn't really ever kind of come up. And then months later connected with me and talked with me about bundling and about uh, a prep center that he wanted to start. And now, however many years later, six years later, he has a very strong growing, um, double, triple growing. Um, I've seen him grow out of three facilities now. So um, that business was started from a meetup group. I had never met him. I had never met him. We were just, what we had in common was Amazon selling. And then we realized we had so much more in common besides that, but that's where you get to know people and realize that um, there's so much more common interest than we realize. And we actually do need people. Um, we need each other and we were not meant to do any of this alone. Um, and so make those connections. Conversations happen easier. Connections are made faster meeting in person. Um, and so look up something. If there is nothing within, I don't know, you know, 50 miles of you, then maybe you're meant to start up a group. And it doesn't mean you have to be a guru. It doesn't mean you have to know anything. It can be, hey, I'm starting a group of e-commerce Amazon sellers. Let's just get together. We don't have an agenda. We're not trying to, you know, sell anybody anything. We're just trying to have conversations and learn from one another. What's worked for you? What hasn't worked for you? I mean, we're just talking conversations over coffee or not even over food or drink at all. It could just be in a local library, a meetup place um, that's public and, and you know, maybe even outside where, you know, all you need is maybe a dinner reservation or, or not even that. Um, so just thinking about those things, because I know not everybody's extroverted and not everybody likes to just walk in and that's awkward and uncomfortable. And yeah, you're right. But suffer in silence and suffer alone and eventually give up and quit or bite the bullet. Tell yourself you'll go there for the first time only. And if it's never good, if it's not good, if it's uncomfortable, if you don't make any connections, you're off the hook. But there's nothing saying that you have to ever go back. Or if you start one and realize it was not your cup of tea, then you could just end it. There's no commitment other than let's give this a try and let's see if I can actually meet some people and chat with them and maybe grow my business a little because of um, having this commonality. It really does make a difference. Um, and the third thing that I will give you first is joining the Facebook group, asking questions, participating, giving your insights. Number two is attending a meetup group. 
or a conference or a local women's business association meeting or, you know, things like that to where you can not necessarily always have to be Amazon sellers, although that would be great for you, but also other people that are just in business and doing these things and um, learning from them. Uh, there's a lot of people with a lot of great um, insight and input that would love to be able to um, help others. And the third and final thing is to join the Amazon Files Hub. Did you know that we have a hub, um, it, the Amazon Files Hub, as part of um, Mommy Income? Uh, the Amazon Files is a special membership group that um, we get together once a month for group coaching, and we ask the really important questions and we connect with one another quarterly we meet with our cameras on to discuss goal setting and have discussions about what's coming through the amazon pipeline and how we are all going to navigate these changes and how we can what has worked for this person and this person can try this and inputting into each other's businesses and lives i can't tell you how I've seen so much growth from this group alone, from the time they started to where they're at now. Um, it's so inspiring to me um, to get together to see that. We meet, we have monthly trainings. We have a private group that only hub members are, are part of. Um, and it's just a community, a place where you know that you can go and get support from other Amazon sellers. Even if you have to have a vent or, or letting air out of your balloon or ranting and raving at some point um, to just kind of get some things off your chest. Even I do it. I mean, you guys, I'm not exempt from all the Amazon craziness that can happen in these businesses when they're not answering your emails or they're asking for things that don't exist. And, you know, the struggle is real. And to be able to have this group of people that I can rely on and I can trust as well is so invaluable. Um, the only prerequisite for that is being a wholesale bundle student. Because we talk about the wholesale bundle framework in the hub so much, and we have so much training that deep dives into the different steps and into things like Merchant Words and Helium 10 and some other softwares and some other um, really important things to think about. Um, the, the hub has so much training already, but then there's new trainings every month. And so this is where we go to get extra training. And the training comes from the members. So each member is always saying, okay, oh, well, can you make a training on this? Can we develop a training on this? I need to learn more about inventory management. I need to learn more about this. So it's really a great place to not only get the support you need from community members, but also get the specific training um, that you need to continue growing because we all reach heights of where we want to continue growing and we want to learn new things in order to put them into practice. So it's a great place to be able to do that is in the Amazon Files Hub. So mommyincome.com slash hub if you're interested in learning more about our membership community there. There's so many trainings and of course the group coaching is a fantastic way to uh, get ideas and to um, get questions answered um, month after month. You know, it's a monthly one hour uh, that we do there. And, you know, so many friendships have been built up from that. Um, the people are meeting even outside of the hub and have become a accountability partners and have are meeting for virtual happy hours. People from all over the country, you know, Texas, Florida, California, everybody's, you know, making these different connections. I encourage that because no one really should be doing this by themselves unless of course they want to and then that's totally cool too um but if you feel like you're just thriving and doing things alone is really you know your thing that's so awesome maybe you can you know come to the community and let us know a little bit more about how we <laughs> we can do that ourselves um but i'm such a people person that's really helpful even for me to be able to connect with other sellers just to shoot the breeze about what's happening um and how we can help each other and get rid of some of the craziness that happens behind the scenes with amazon so if you're really craving that connection i really encourage you to look up a meetup group or attend a live event attend something there's more and more conferences coming back online now there's trade shows there's you know people that you can really connect with and whether you're you're shy and you would never walk up to somebody or if you're just you know can talk to a doorknob like me um find it outside or within your comfort zone to 
step out of that. And how much more can you thrive if you even just make one connection with one person that, you know, can kind of laugh at some of your victories and some of your failures together and just kind of make a little bit of a connection. I'm not asking you to make best friends, but why not? (laughs) Um, It's really, uh, we thrive in an environment where people understand us, where we feel seen, where we feel heard, where we feel understood and where we feel supported. And if that's not how you're feeling right now, um, reach out and let us know um, how we can get you connected with other people, whether it's in your area or within um, the Facebook group so that you can really um, feel connected and heard. So, y'all, I know that you could be any other place doing any other thing right now, and I do not take that for granted. I thank you for listening to the Amazon Files podcast and coming to the Mommy Income um, website and the the live events and all the different things we do. I'm here to support you. um, And all of our other members and friends are here to support you as well. Thank you for listening. And we'll see you same time, same place next week on the Amazon Files.